Hey everyone on YouTube, I just wanted to make a video about lighting. Uh, it's one of the new hobbies that I'm getting into. I've actually made a lot of posts on YouTube uh, about lights and what my thoughts were, but I never made a video about it. Uh, so I wanted to compare um, equal types of lighting as far as lumens go. Um, the one over here is the one that we're all familiar with. It's uh, the lovely orange glowing high pressure sodium lamp um, this one is a brand new bulb uh, it's a 100 watt high pressure sodium light on the power company's pole I just want to walk over here a little bit um, the camera unfortunately picks up major glare um, so ignore the glare it's really not glary like that but do you see any orange light other than this circle? I mean, honest question. Other than this little circle right here, maybe a little bit of orange, some little splash of orange on the side of the barn. Uh, sound like Bob Ross. Pretty little trees, little splash of orange over here. Maybe a tiny little splash of orange over here. You can barely see it though. Um, 100 watt high pressure sodium lights have about 6,300, 7,000 lumens, give or take. Um, again, they use 100 watts of energy, supposedly the energy efficient lamp of the 70s and 80s. Um, not that bright, is it? It really isn't. If you take that glare out of there, let's take that little glare. There we go. Is that a bright light to you? Would you love using this as a security lamp? I don't know. You can't even see the woods back there. It goes a little bit in the back, but that's about it. Now, you see all this white light right here? How my hand is green, it's actually white. Um, unfortunately, cameras cannot pick up the uh, the white light properly on mercury vapor. The white light extends all the way out here. Yes, that's a flood, but it's pointing this direction. All this is lit up by the mercury vapor lamp. My shadow, all of this. The woods is a mixture of the mercury vapor and the high pressure sodium, but this these woods are 200 feet away from the light pole. All of this is lit up, and again, it's 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 pure white in person. Um, it's actually a little pinkish when you look at the light pole because it's a frosted mercury vapor light. Um, do you? Do you see how far this is going? And it's all shadowy over here because of the tree. It needs to be trimmed back a little bit more. But uh, here's the light. That's really bright. Um, so let me be fair and take out the uh, glare. Do you see this? Why in the world in the 70s did they replace high pressure sodium or uh, mercury vapor with high pressure sodium why I really don't understand this light is pitiful um, it, it really is yeah I don't I don't understand I think the reason why they replaced mercury vapor with high pressure sodium was for the supposed energy savings um, and for a brighter light uh, Maybe because of the energy crisis in the 70s, I don't know. Um, but uh, I think the problem really was uh, is cities and states didn't realize that you got to replace the light bulbs. These bulbs, after three, four years, they got to be replaced. Um, yes, they'll last 15, 20 years for a bulb. I mean, this light pole right here is 60 years old. It's got the original uh, mercury vapor lamps in it, but the bulbs got to be replaced. This is the reason why everything is lit up so well. It has brand new bulbs. Um, or a bulb. I keep saying bulbs because there's actually two lights. Just one of them is off. But uh, high pressure sodium is pretty inferior. It really is. Um, our eyes are meant to see white light. Uh, daylight, I believe, is 6800K, 7000K around there. This mercury vapor lamp is only around 5000 because of the frosted bulb. If you get an unfrosted one, uh, it's actually around 6,000, 6,500, I think. Um, that is what your eyes are meant to see. Not 
2900 or 3000 K or 550 nanometer orange slash red lights. I am a firm believer that high pressure sodium is the cause for a lot of accidents, a lot of pedestrian deaths at nighttime because people can't see shit with these lights on. Um, at least I can't. Um, I know a lot of people out there will probably argue with me about this because they love high pressure or sorry, uh, they love uh, high pressure sodium lights, but uh, the fact is mercury vapor is a better lamp. The light is just far superior. And this is the reason why LEDs are replacing high uh, uh, high pressure sodium lights is because you know, you know they can be different colors, um, but it's because they're white. The white light is extremely bright. It's not just the energy uh, efficiency, it's the white light. Um, again, we're meant to see white better than orange. Um, I just went into a uh, parking lot at a grocery store that I used to go to for t the past 25 years, and that grocery store was always dim. Uh, you couldn't see anything. You couldn't see cars parked anywhere. It was very hard to, uh, you know, see anything at all. And uh, they just recently... Uh, excuse me, recently replaced their lamps with LEDs, and the whole parking lot is lit up like the sun now. Um, it's amazing. Uh, LEDs, I don't like them, though, um, because I don't like the glare. The glare that you see in the camera for these lights, like that, for example, that's what LED lights look like when you look at them. Um, it hurts my eyes. Um, LEDs are a pinpoint light, which is the reason why LEDs have not taken over for so many decades, because... Diffuser technology is just not there. It's getting better. Uh, it really is. I think we're at the point now where um, it's good enough to replace street lamps with. Um, but uh, again, high pressure sodium versus mercury vapor. You guys give me your response on what you think is brighter. Uh, which light as you can see, extends all the way out here. The barn is even half orange, half white. The woods are white with some orange in them. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me turn this light off. I don't have enough time to turn it back on because unfortunately, uh, mercury vapor, one of the downsides is it needs to cool down before it comes back on. Let's turn this off, and then you will see the white light is 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 basically drowning out the orange light. So here we go. Okay, mercury vapor lamp is off. Remember how the woods over here were all lit up? Do you remember that? The light pole is right there. The woods are maybe 50 feet away. You can't see shit. And I will argue until I die to anybody who thinks that high pressure sodium is better than mercury vapor. Please tell me. It's not. You can't answer that question. Even a 150 watt mercury vapor, sorry, a 150 watt high pressure sodium light, which is the one over here, this is a floodlight. I mean, this thing is meant to flood, which it's doing. It's doing a pretty good job, I'm not gonna lie. I do like high pressure sodium when it comes to certain things. Um, if I had a choice, I would use mercury vapor lamp for that as well but unfortunately you can't find uh, mercury vapor lamps for anything except for the old barn lights it's doing a pretty good job right but that flood light right here where my finger is wiggling over here on the left is only lighting about 50 60 feet in all directions it's lighting the trees up there when that uh, mercury vapor light was on it was lighting stuff 200 feet away um, so you guys give me your honest opinion i'm not gonna attack anyone for their honest opinion but uh, you tell me which was brighter the high pressure sodium or the mercury vapor and why anyway thanks again and uh again let me know please have a good night